we just loaded up the planter with corn and my brother is taking it out to the field. So uh, today we're going to start planting corn hopefully if, uh, if the field's dry enough. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm really excited to give corn a good shot this year. We really liked what it did last year but it wasn't a very fair try. So this year we're going to throw it all at it and uh, see what we can think of it. Well, I'm heading out now to meet my brother at the field to get going on corn. I'm driving the semi. We got uh, our liquid trailer on with 1034 and I got a pallet of Pioneer 7211 corn. So we're trying out to Kalb. This year we did last year was Pioneer and now we're going to compare them and see what we like. Well, we're at the field. Gonna get uh, loaded up with the rest of the liquid, fill the saddle tanks. There's the, the liquid trailer and uh, semi. That's an awesome setup. Now that we're folded out, we'll hook up our line there and we'll get that strung up here. So we're pumping out of those two tanks out of the liquid. Hookup is the front here and then it splits and we fill the saddles first. And then we close the swing valves under them. And then uh, we pump it up there on the top tank. And then when we're planting, we just turn on uh, the PTO pump and it moves it from the saddles up there which goes through our manifolds out to our rows. When I was uh, figuring out how to plumb these saddle tanks, I was doing a bunch of research and everyone said that if you make the line going from that tank to that tank, the same length from the T, they'll fill at the same speed. And uh, so far, it looks like they're filling at the same speed, which is awesome. So now we shut the valves under the tanks and we are pumping that one and we're going to try and fill that one fairly full and then we have an airline hooked up to our hose so that once we're done filling we can just swing the valve and blow all the rest of the furt onto the tanks. So we pumped it all and blew it out and here's my valve. You swing that and then it just blows the rest out. And it's nice because then you hardly waste any. I was really excited to try these uh, furrow cruisers, but I'm not sure I really like what they're doing. So we'll see. We made a couple adjustments and uh, we're gonna go again here. We just got the planter set in corn. It uh, looks like it's doing a good job. I'm glad we did the work we did to it. And uh, he is right over there and he's going on that side. And we didn't quite finish harrowing. So I'm gonna quickly try and finish harrowing this piece. And he's gonna work on that side till I'm done. Everybody loves the Versatiles. This is an 895. It's just a cheap workhorse. And it uh, it's good. Pretty basic, nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. It's a 85 foot harrow, heavy harrow. 
and we're just getting things smoothed out here for the planters while we do a good job. Where is he? Hello. So I finished herring this piece that uh, Andrew's planting corn in. He's making good progress. And now I'm going to take the harrow um, half a mile to the east. We have another quarter section we're putting corn in that we had sunflowers in last year. There's lots of stalks, so I'm going to take the harrows there, hit the wet spots, try and dry those up, and try and maybe pile up the stalks and burn them. We'll see what happens, but that's where we're heading now with the old 895. So we're going to fold these up and head out. We're just touching up all the low holes, going to dry them out. This is the sunflower field I was just harrowing and this right here there's a low spot and then all the water gathers all the stalks and then pushes them into a pile and it's nasty and it won't plant it too well so I harrowed it I was hoping that would either bunch it up or spread it out and it didn't do either it kind of really didn't do a whole lot of anything at least it'll dry up the the wet dirt that I stirred up but uh, now we're going to toss some accelerant on the sunflower stalks and see if we can't help eliminate them. We got the torch going there, diesel, and we'll just start splashing everything and hopefully get this all burnt. It looks like harrowing it helped because it busted it into smaller pieces which burn easier, so that's good at least. The winds right now are actually perfect because it's blowing away from that berm which is all covered in dead grass. So, you know, with a little bit of diesel and harrowing it really helped I think actually. So this is, uh, this is good. Let's keep spreading. It's definitely warm. It's burning pretty nice. I just got to keep an eye on this right here because I really don't want it to get in the grass. It's burning off really nicely and I'm just keeping it out of the grass and then I got my... Uh, tank over there and it's just lighting away as we go. The wind is perfect. We've moved over to the field that uh, we were burning sunflower stubble in and harrowing. We're going to get loaded up. This is our last quarter section of corn. We're going to get corn banged out today. Hopefully we'll finish it up and then we're going to switch over to soybeans. My brother was just spraying some of our corn land from last year. And now he is in my truck here, and we're gonna load up. Good thing I drive a three quarter ton, cause I mean, that's grossly overweight, I would say. We got, uh, what, 66 bags of corn in the box? And some. But anyways, we'll get her loaded up and get rolling. Andrew's rolling on the corn right over there on the other side of those trees and I am scouting some fields that we are going to be doing beans on. We were originally thinking hey we're gonna just we're gonna do corn then we'll do sunflowers and then we'll go on beans but sunflower land is all still just 
too wet and the bean land is mostly ready to go so I think we're gonna try and finish up corn tonight and then tomorrow morning first thing we'll switch over to beans and get rolling. planter is so nice I love it and you can see my little automatic liquid, liquid kit controller there all the pumps are working oh it's actually doing a really nice job this year I'm very happy we're just chipping away here making good progress um, I am currently filling our tank there we have a PTO pump you can kind of see it right down there so when that tank gets low, I'll just kick on the PTO here and we pump out of both the saddle tanks. That's been really nice. We can we can plant a full day's worth of corn and fur with one fill, which is awesome. It just speeds up everything. Wow, well, it's like 11.30, something like that. And uh, we're done the corn now which is awesome. We'll get switched over to beans tomorrow and start banging out bean acres. We've got a thousand acres that are dry, ready to roll. So we'll get those knocked out hopefully in the next couple days. And then we're looking pretty good. This tractor is sweet, man. I really love it. And I also love LEDs. We put LEDs on our seed tanks and that's why they look like they're glowing, which is awesome. Here you can see them. We mounted them on the railings pointing into the tank. And so not only does it look that make the tank look super cool because it's like a glowing yellow orb, but it's actually functional because at night you can see how much seed you have because the bottom of the tank or wherever their seed is black or dark and then you see the glowing light through that. So it's, it, it helps and it looks cool. You can really tell the LEDs are working when I shut off the tractor lights. Look at that. It's just like glowing orbs. Come on. That is so cool. I really like that. I think it's awesome. <laughs> 